The Ford a little changed uh, on the year and since reporting earnings earlier this month as the company crushed estimates on revenue and the bottom line and maintained the guidance going forward. One that balances the cash bleed and the EV build out but relies on the cash cows of classic Ford cars. John Lawler, the chief financial officer of Ford Motor Company here with us this afternoon. John, thanks for joining us on the TD Ameritrade Network. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I want to talk about a point that you make uh, when you describe the future of Ford that I think just cuts right to the chase, and that is that uh, your plans are to turn Ford into something that's a non-cyclical business. As traders and investors, that type of label, a cyclical business or a non-cyclical, holds so much weight. Tell me about what you mean by that. Well, with the incredible opportunity we have with our vehicles now being collect connected digital platforms, we have the opportunity to create reoccurring revenues that are accretive uh, to the bottom line that will last throughout any business cycle. And that's a big difference uh, for this company and for the industry. Um, you know, and it's what's changing, it's the transformation. A lot of folks talk about electrification as the key transformation. In my mind, the key transformation is that these products are now connected, they're digital platforms, we can build software off of that, we can create services for our customers, and we can create lifetime relationships. That's uh, very much, it sounds, spoken like the chief financial officer, where we have very much of kind of a, a consumer's view when we think about the auto business as the cars themselves. You're thinking about how the cars are going to generate recurring income and revenue. Is that what falls under the Ford Pro category, the services component that you describe as a secret weapon? Well, for Ford Pro, that's a big part of their business model. But in fact, the ability to push software and provide software and services to our customers, that's true for Model E as well as for Ford Blue. So across all of our business units, they have the opportunity, now that the vehicles are connected, they have a digital architecture, to be able to communicate with our customers on a regular basis, push over-the-air updates, make the vehicles better over time. It's an opportunity for all three business segments. The losses right now associated with Model E, the electrified fleet, expanded over the past year, almost doubled to about 700 million. Of course, that's part of the plan in many ways as you expand that part of the business. Tell me about uh, the financial expectations we should have as investors. Do you view sort of an unlimited loss as being manageable at the cost of building out that volume and scale for the 40 business at this juncture? Yeah, so on, in the e-business right now, you know, think of it as a startup. And um, at this point in its phase, it's losing money. We've said that we plan to be for our Gen 1 vehicles, our first generation of vehicles, will be uh, EBIT positive by the end of next year. But we'll be continuing to invest in our second generation and starting to invest in our third generation. And with that, as we scale, we bring more products to market, you'll start to see the, the results improve and we're um, marching towards an 8% EBIT margin by 2026. Hmm. How much of uh, that build out right now will you still be able to find that balance to be shareholder friendly, uh, to act as a, a legacy player with established fundamentals? Will you be able to pay dividends, buy back shares? Is that in the plan or do you, because when you say you have a startup style business, those are not things the startup style will do. Can you manage to have that startup style in E and still act as that legacy financial stalwart on the other end? Well, we really have three businesses in there. We have the ICE business, which is very profitable, generates uh, strong free cash flows. We have our pro business, which is what we call our secret weapon, very profitable, looking to get to mid-teen margins by 2026. They've had a 10% margin the last two quarters, generates positive free cash flow. So both of those businesses are very strong as we invest in build out of a very, a very good strategy around our e-business, and yes, we will be able to provide returns to our shareholders, a regular dividend plus supplemental dividends, and our intent is to pay out 40 to 50% of our free cash flow in dividends every year. Mm. Appreciate you laying the groundwork for us, John. We look forward to a longer conversation. Know you gotta run to your event. Thanks for making time for us.
Thank you. Absolutely. John Lawler, Chief Financial Officer at Ford Motor Company.